welcome dear students to this session dear students we are going to discuss from class 9 mathematics book chapter 8 quadrilateral part 3 before going to discuss today's lesson let's see what we have learned about quadrilateral till now we learned angle sum property of a quadrilateral that is sum of interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree and we also learned about some properties of parallelogram what is that a diagonal of a parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangles so one diagonal divides a parallelogram into two triangles and those two triangles are congruent let's see another property that is in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal so we have two pairs of opposite sides each pair of opposite sides is equal in a parallelogram now its converse is also true that is if each pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral is equal then it is a parallelogram today we are going to learn something more about parallelogram let's state one uh, uh, such property in a parallelogram opposite angles are equal in last class we learned that in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal here we learn that uh, the opposite angles are also equal so for that let's have a figure here abcd is a parallelogram so our given point is abcd is a parallelogram then what to prove we have to prove that opposite angles are equal that is angle abc is equal to angle adc we have to show because these two are opposite angles let's have an, uh, another pair of opposite angles these are angle bad and angle bcd so we can write in two proof part that angle abc is congruent to angle cda and angle bcd is congruent to angle dab let's see here we need a construction what is the construction draw the diagonal ac now after drawing the diagonal ac as we know we have two congruent triangles see let's prove it bc is parallel to ad as you know here bc and ad are parallel and the angle bca and angle dac these two are equal because they are alternate interior angles similarly we have ab is parallel to cd and ac is the transversal so other pair of uh, in, uh, alternate interior angles are angle bac and angle acd so we can name these equations as equation 1 and 2 now let's see in triangle abc and adc we as we discussed we have two triangles bca angle is equal to angle dac bac angle is equal to angle acd and ac is equal to ca that is common side so these two triangles are congruent by angle side angle property now if by angle side angle property they are congruent then we can say that abc is equal to cda why this angle abc is equal to cda because 
they are corresponding parts of congruent triangles. So, they are equal. So, we proved one part of the uh, our theorem. Let us see other part of the theorem. We know that angle BCA is equal to angle DAC and angle SCD is equal to angle BAC. Now, you see BCA and SCD, these are two congruent, uh, two adjacent angles. Now, let us see, if we add these two equations, then we get angle BCA plus angle SCD is equal to angle DAC plus angle BAC. Now, you see, if we uh, see the picture, the figure, you see BCA and ACD, these two are adjacent figures, adjacent angles. So, the sum of these two will be same as the angle BCD. So, BCA plus ACD will give angle BCD. Similarly, angle DAC and angle BAC, these two are also uh, adjacent angles. So, sum of these angles will be the uh, greater angle that is BAD. So, we can write BCD is equal to DAB. This is the second part of our theorem. So, as we proved that if a parallelogram is there, then its opposite angles are equal. We must have a converse of this. Means, if in a quadrilateral the opposite angles are equal, then the quadrilateral will be a parallelogram. So, this is stated as theorem 8.5. If in a quadrilateral each pair of opposite angles is equal, then it is a parallelogram. Then, how to prove it? Let us have a figure that is a quadrilateral. Here, ABCD is a quadrilateral. So, given that ABCD is a quadrilateral. Now, you see ADB and ABC are opposite sides and it is given that these two angles are equal. Also, angle BAD and angle BCD, these two are also opposite angles and it is given that these two angles are also equal. Now, what to prove? We have to prove that ABCD is a parallelogram. You see, to prove this to be a parallelogram, we will use the angle sum property and co-interior angle property of parallel lines. Let us see. In quadrilateral ABCD, angle A is equal to angle C as it is given. Angle D is equal to angle B as it is given. So, if we add these four, see these four are interior angles of a quadrilateral. So, sum of these four angles is 360 degree. So, we can write angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is equal to 360 degree. Now, as we know A, D, uh, A and C are equal, D and B are equal. So, we can write angle A plus angle B is equal to angle A plus angle D because angle A is added in both sides of the second equation is you see here it is D and B and we added angle A on bo both sides. So, we have angle A plus B is equal to angle A plus D and we know that sum of this will be half of 360 degree as we have uh, equal parts. So, 360 degree by 2 that gives 180 degree. So, from this line we conclude that angle A plus angle B sum of these two angles is 180 degree and sum of angle A and D is also 180 degree. Now, recall uh, the uh, co-interior angles in case of parallel lines and transversal. Let us see 
as the transversal is AB. Here AB is the transversal, AD and BC are parallel lines. So, we have angle A and angle B to be co-interior angles. And earlier we proved that angle A plus B is 180 degree. So, as co-interior angles are supplementary, so the lines AD and BC are parallel. Now, similarly, we can also say that angle A and angle D. So, for that which is the transversal? Here AD is the transversal and AB and CD are the lines and intersects at A and D. So, the angle A and angle D are the co-interior angles and, and I, we know that angle A plus D is equal to 180 degree. So, as co-interior angles are uh, supplementary, so the lines AB and DC are parallel. As we know that in a quadrilateral, if the opposite sides are parallel, then that quadrilateral is a parallelogram. You see, so we can write in quadrilateral ABCD, each pair of opposite sides is parallel. So, ABCD is a parallelogram. By using these two properties, we can solve some uh, questions. Let us see. Here, a question is like this. In a parallelogram, ABCD, bisectors of angle A and angle C intersect CD and AB at points P and Q respectively. Like the, so, the figure is like this. Show that a, P, C, Q. Here, the uh, parallelogram, the quadrilateral A, P, C, Q is a parallelogram we have to show. So, the parallelogram is like this. Here, it is given A, B, C, D bisector of angle A intersects CD at P and bisector of angle C intersect AB at Q. So, this is given. So, we can write here given that in parallelogram A, B, C, D, A, P is bisector of angle A intersect DC at P and bisector of of angle C intersect AB at C. Now, to prove, we have to prove that A, P, A, P, C, Q is parallelogram. Now, let us see how to prove it. As you know, In parallelogram, ABCD opposite angles are A and C. 
so we can write angle DAB is equal to angle BCD and so half of angle DAB is equal to half of angle BCD. As AP is the bisector of angle BAD or DAB, so QAP is half of it. So we can write in place of DAB, we can write angle QAP. Similarly, in place of half BCD, as QCP is half of angle BCD, as QC is the bisector, so we can write QAP, QAP is equal to angle QCP. Again, now let's see, CQ is transversal of AB parallel CD. As ABCD is a parallelogram, AB is parallel to CD and QC is the transversal. So we can say this angle Q, BQC, angle BQC is equal to angle QCP. Alternate interior angle. Now you see, so QBC equal to QCP, you see QCP and again see if we consider AP as the transversal, AP is transversal of AB parallel to CD, then angle QAP is equal to angle APD. Angle QAP is equal to angle APD. You see QAP is equal to QCP, QCP is equal to BQC and APD, this QCP is equal to BQC and QAP equal to APD. So this is 1, this is 2 and this is 3. From these 3 we conclude 1, 2 and 3 we conclude that angle APD is equal to angle B, Q, C. So, let's see. If we subtract these angles from 180 degree on both sides, we have 180 degree minus angle A, P, D is equal to 180 degree minus BQC. Now you see 180 degree minus APD. The angle APD and APC they are linear pairs. So 180 degree minus APD gives angle APC. So in place of 180 degree minus angle APD we can write angle APC. You see, in, one, in the next one, 180 degree minus BQC, BQC and AQC, they form the linear pair. So, 180 degree minus BQC gives angle AQC. Now, see, these two, APC and AQC are opposite angles of the equilateral AQC. And we proved that QAP is equal to QCP, 
these two are also opposite angles of the quadrilateral AQPC. So, we can write as both pair of opposite angles is equal so a b c d a a p c q is a parallelogram let me explain again here in this figure we proved that angle q a s p is equal to angle q c p these two are opposite angles of this quadrilateral again we also proved that angle a q c is equal to angle a p c which are also opposite angles of the quadrilateral a q c p so as both the pairs of opposite angles equal so we can say that a p c q is a parallelogram as we proved the theorem earlier. Let us see another example show that the bisectors of angles of a parallelogram form a rectangle. So, the figure is like this A B C D is a parallelogram A Q and C S are bisectors of angle A and C, D S and B Q are the bisectors of angle B and D. So, we have to prove that P Q R S is a parallelogram. Uh, a parallelogram and a rectangle. So, first we will prove it to be a parallelogram, then we will prove it to be a rectangle. The bisector of angle A bisector of angle D bisector of angle B and bisector of angle C. So, this point is P, Q, R and S. Now, you see we can prove this to be uh, we can prove this to be a rectangle as we discussed in the previous question, but let us do it independently. Here what is given? in parallelogram a b c d bisectors of angle A, B, C and D form a quadrilateral P, Q, R, S. This is given. So, what to prove? We have to prove that P Q R S is a rectangle. So, what is a rectangle? A rectangle is a quadrilateral which is a parallelogram and 
each angle is 90 degree or one of it one of its angle is 90 degree let's see angle b angle a and angle d these are co interior angles so sum is 180 degree let's write the proof So here we will apply the same co interior property of parallelogram. So let us write AD is transversal of AB parallel CD, and from this we get angle BAD plus angle ADC is equal to 180 degree because co-interior angles. And if we take half of it, then half BAD plus half ADC is equal to half of 180 degree that gives half BAD in place of half BAD we can write DAP half BAD is same as PAD so angle PAD plus angle similarly half ADC can be written as ADP so angle AD P. This is equal to half of 180 degree is 90 degree. So, in triangle APD, APD triangle, sum of two angles is 90 degree. So, third angle must be 90 degree. So, we can write in triangle APD, angle APD is equal to 90 degree. Similarly, we can take another pair that is AB is transversal of AD parallel to BC, AD BC parallel. So, angle DAB plus angle ABC angle DAB plus angle ABC these are co interior angles so sum is 180 degree again taking half of it we have half DAB is it plus half ABC is equal to half of 180 degree now you see half of DAB in this case we can take BAP so angle BAP plus angle half ABC in place of half ABC we can write ABQ so uh, let's write here BAQ and here it is ABQ is equal to 90 degree BAQ and ABQ are the angles of triangle ABQ. This implies in triangle ABQ, which is the third angle, the third angle is AQB. So, angle AQB is equal to 90 degree. Now, you see this angle is 90 degree, this angle is 90 degree and this angle is 90 degree. We can similarly, in similar manner, we can also prove I may write similarly we can show that angle 
B R C is equal to 90 degree and angle D S C D S C is equal to 90 degree. As you see B R C is 90 degree. So, B R C is equal to angle S R Q is equal to 90 degree. Why these two are equal? They are vertically opposite opposite angles. So, this shows that B R C is equal to S R Q and we have we have again angle A P D is equal to angle S P Q is equal to 90 degree. The reason is same that is vertically opposite angles. Now you see angle SPQ is equal to angle SRQ. Why? Because both are of measure 90 degree. Again, angle PSR is equal to angle PQR again due to same reason that is both are 90 degree. As opposite angles of the quadrilateral PQRS are equal, so PQRS is a parallelogram. So, this implies PQRS is a parallelogram with each angle equal to 90 degree. Now, you see as a parallelogram with each angle 90 degree is a rectangle. So, we can say that P Q R S is a rectangle. So, after this line we will read this line that is P Q R S is a rectangle. So, by using angle sum property we proved another example that is uh, by using opposite angle property of parallelogram we proved another question. Let us see another question. In this question, in parallelogram ABCD, X is point on DC such that AD equal to AX. Prove that angle XAB is equal to angle ABC. Now, and also AC is equal to BX. Now, a parallelogram is there A, B, C, D. From A, we can have a point on DC such that AX equal to AD. If AX equal to AD, then we have this angle ADX is equal to angle A x d. So, given in parallelogram A B C D x is a point on D C such that 
एट डी इज इक्वल टू एक्स टू प्रूव एंगल बी एक्स इज इक्वल टू एंगल ए बी सी मीन्स वी हैव टू प्रूव दीज एंगल्स टू बी इक्वल एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव टू प्रूव ए सी इज इक्वल टू बी एक्स मीन्स दिस लाइन ए सी इज इक्वल टू दिस लाइन बी एक्स सो लेट स्टार्ट द प्रूफ ना यू सी as abcd is a parallelogram as abcd is a parallelogram the opposite angles are equal means angle d is equal to angle b now you see ax in ax d triangle ad is equal to ax this implies angle adx is equal to angle ax d this is 1 this is 2 now ax ax is transversal of ab parallel to cd this shows that angle bax is equal to angle axd Now you see, A X D equal to A D X. A D X. A D X is A D X. A D X is equal to B. A D X is equal to angle B. So angle B is equal to angle B A X. So from one, two, and three. From one, two. and 3 we conclude that angle bax is equal to angle abc you see angle b is equal to angle d d is angle equal to x axd and axd equal to bax so angle b is equal to angle bax now using this we can prove the congruent triangles to show bx equal to ac in parallelogram abcd ad is equal to bc and ad is equal to ax this is given so this shows that bc is equal to ax now in triangle abx and triangle abc we have ab equal to ba common side and we proved that angle bax is equal to angle abc we proved it and here bc is equal to ax so we can write 
AX is equal to BC. So from these three conditions, we conclude that triangle ABX is congruent to BAC. So we can write BX is equal to AC. So this is proved. Dear students, by using another property like opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal and converse of it that if a quadrilateral has angles, opposite angles to be equal, then that quadrilateral will be a parallelogram. By using this, we can solve such many problems. Dear students, today we conclude here. Have a good day. Thank you.